A morning cough is a prevalent symptom that often leads to discomfort and concern. It can stem from various causes, ranging from allergies to more severe chronic diseases. Understanding these causes is crucial for effective diagnosis and management, which is why we made this video to break down the most common causes of a morning cough and how you can alleviate this unwanted symptom. So keep watching if you want to learn more. One of the most common causes of morning coughing is postnasal drip. Postnasal drip occurs when excess mucus from the nasal passages drips down the back of the throat, often leading to a morning cough. This condition can be caused by allergies, sinus infections, or changes in weather. Sufferers typically experience a sore throat, stuffiness, and a constant urge to clear the throat. Treatment options include nasal sprays, antihistamines, decongestants, and managing underlying allergies or sinus issues. Additionally, using a humidifier at night and staying hydrated can help alleviate symptoms. In persistent cases, Consulting a healthcare provider for targeted treatments like nasal irrigation or allergy testing and treatment may be recommended. Number 2. Asthma Asthma, a chronic respiratory condition, can cause a morning cough due to the airway inflammation and constriction. This cough is often accompanied by wheezing, shortness of breath, and chest tightness. Asthma-related coughs are typically more prevalent in the early morning and at night. Managing asthma involves avoiding triggers like allergens, cold air, or irritants, and using prescribed medications such as inhalers containing bronchodilators and corticosteroids. Regular monitoring and adjustments and treatment plans are crucial, as asthma symptoms can vary over time. In some cases, long-term control medications or allergy treatments may also be necessary to effectively manage asthma and reduce morning cough. Number 3. Cold or Flu a morning cough during a cold or flu is typically due to congestion and postnasal drip as the body fights off the viral infection. Symptoms include a sore throat, runny or stuffy nose, body aches, and fatigue. Treatment focuses on relieving symptoms and includes over-the-counter cough medicines, decongestants, and pain relievers. Adequate rest, hydration, and a healthy diet are essential for recovery. Steam inhalation or using a humidifier can also ease congestion and cough. Since colds and flu are viral, antibiotics are ineffective. However, antiviral medications may be prescribed in some flu cases. Preventative measures like annual flu vaccinations and good hygiene practices are recommended to reduce the risk of infection. Number 4. Dry Mouth Dry mouth can lead to a morning cough due to a decrease in saliva production during sleep, leaving the throat dry and irritated. Common causes include dehydration, certain medications, mouth breathing during sleep, or underlying health conditions. Symptoms often include a sticky, dry feeling in the mouth, bad breath, and frequent thirst. To alleviate dry mouth, it's essential to increase hydration, use saliva substitutes or mouthwashes designed for dry mouth, and maintain good oral hygiene. Using a humidifier at night can also help. If medications are the cause, consulting with a healthcare provider for alternative treatments may be beneficial. Addressing underlying conditions like diabetes or Sjogren's syndrome is also important for long-term relief. Number 5. Gastroesophageal Reflux Disease GERD is a digestive disorder where stomach acid frequently flows back into the esophagus, often causing a morning cough. This acid reflux can irritate the throat and airways, leading to coughing, heartburn, chest pain, and difficulty swallowing. Lifestyle changes are a primary treatment approach including eating smaller meals, avoiding acidic or spicy foods, and not eating close to bedtime. Over-the-counter antacids, H2 blockers, or proton pump inhibitors can help reduce stomach acid and alleviate symptoms. In severe cases, prescription medications or surgery may be necessary. Elevating the head during sleep and maintaining a healthy weight can also significantly reduce GERD symptoms. Number 6. Smoking Smoking is a leading cause of chronic morning cough, often referred to as smoker's cough. This cough is due to irritation and damage caused by smoking to the airways and lungs. Smokers may experience a persistent hacking cough that produces phlegm. The most effective treatment is to quit smoking, which reduces respiratory symptoms and improves overall lung health. Nicotine replacement therapies, prescription medications, and support groups can aid in cessation. In addition to quitting smoking, treatments may include expectorants to clear mucus, bronchodilators to open airways, and in some cases, pulmonary rehabilitation. Regular health checkups are important for smokers, as they are at increased risk for COPD and lung cancer. 
Number 7. Allergies Allergies can cause a morning cough due to the body's reaction to allergens like pollen, dust, or pet dander. This reaction triggers histamine release, leading to symptoms like sneezing, nasal congestion, and postnasal drip, which in turn cause coughing. Treatments for allergy-induced cough includes antihistamines to reduce histamine effects, decongestants to relieve congestion, and nasal corticosteroids to decrease inflammation. Avoiding known allergens and using air purifiers can also help. In severe cases, allergy shots may be recommended to gradually reduce sensitivity to allergens. Keeping windows closed during high pollen seasons and regular cleaning to reduce indoor allergens are also effective preventative measures. Number 8. Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease COPD, a group of lung diseases including emphysema and chronic bronchitis, often causes a chronic morning cough. This cough is typically productive, producing a large amount of mucus, and is accompanied by breathing difficulties. Not to mention, smoking is a primary cause of COPD. Treatment for this condition focuses on relieving symptoms and slowing disease progression and includes bronchodilators to open airways, steroids to reduce inflammation, and oxygen therapy in advanced cases. Pulmonary rehabilitation programs can improve exercise tolerance and breathing techniques. Quitting smoking is crucial in managing COPD, and vaccinations against flu and pneumonia are recommended as respiratory infections can exacerbate COPD symptoms. Number 9. Bronchitis Bronchitis and inflammation of the bronchial tubes often leads to a morning cough that produces mucus. It can be acute, typically following a cold or respiratory infection, or chronic, commonly seen in smokers. Symptoms include a persistent cough, wheezing, and chest discomfort. Treatment for acute bronchitis is primarily supportive, including rest, increased fluid intake, and possibly cough suppressants or pain relievers. For chronic bronchitis, bronchodilators and steroids may be prescribed to ease symptoms, along with pulmonary rehabilitation. Smoking cessation is vital in chronic cases. In both acute and chronic bronchitis, it's important to avoid lung irritants and ensure good hand hygiene to prevent infections. Number 10. Environmental Irritants Environmental irritants such as pollution, dust, chemical fumes, and smoke can trigger a morning cough. These irritants cause irritation and inflammation in the airways, leading to coughing as the body attempts to clear them. Symptoms can include a dry or productive cough, throat irritation, and sometimes shortness of breath. The best treatment is avoiding exposure to known irritants. This may involve using air purifiers, wearing masks in polluted areas, and ensuring good ventilation in living spaces. In cases where exposure is unavoidable, using saline nasal sprays or inhalers may provide relief. For those with sensitive airways such as asthmatics, preventable inhalers or allergy medications might be necessary. Number 11. Infections Respiratory infections like bronchitis, pneumonia, and whooping cough can cause a persistent morning cough. These infections lead to inflammation and mucus production in the respiratory tract. Symptoms often include coughing, fever, fatigue, and sometimes difficulty breathing. Treatment depends on the type of infection. Bacterial infections may require antibiotics, while viral infections typically need supportive care like rest, hydration, and over-the-counter medications for symptom relief. Vaccinations like the flu shot and pneumococcal vaccine can prevent certain infections. Good hygiene practices such as frequent hand washing can also reduce the risk of catching or spreading respiratory infections. Number 12. Medication Side Effects Certain medications, particularly ACE inhibitors used to treat high blood pressure and heart conditions, can cause a dry, persistent cough as a side effect. This cough is due to the accumulation of bradykinin, a peptide in the respiratory tract. Treatment involves switching to an alternative medication, usually under a doctor's guidance. It's important not to stop or change medications without consulting a healthcare provider. If a medication-induced cough is suspected, a review of all current medications with a doctor is necessary to identify the cause and find a suitable alternative. Maintaining open communication with healthcare providers about any new or worsening symptoms is crucial for effective management. Number 13. Dehydration Dehydration can lead to a morning cough by drying out the mucous membranes of the throat and respiratory tract, making them more susceptible to irritation. This dryness can cause a tickling sensation in the throat, leading to cough. Common symptoms include dry mouth, increased thirst, and reduced urine output. The primary treatment for dehydration-related cough is to increase fluid intake, especially water. 
it's important to drink consistently throughout the day, even before feeling thirsty. In more severe cases of dehydration, oral rehydration solutions or intravenous fluids may be necessary. Preventing dehydration by consuming adequate fluids, especially in hot weather or during exercise, is key to avoiding this type of cough. Number 14. Thyroid Disease Thyroid diseases, particularly an enlarged thyroid gland or thyroid nodules, can sometimes lead to a morning cough. These conditions may exert pressure on the trachea, causing irritation or a sensation of tightness in the throat, which can trigger coughing. Other symptoms can include changes in voice, difficulty swallowing, and neck swelling. Treatment for a thyroid-related cough involves addressing the underlying thyroid condition. This may include thyroid hormone replacement therapy for hypothyroidism, medications or radioactive iodine for hypothyroidism, or surgery in cases of large goiters or nodules. Regular monitoring and treatment adjustments are crucial in managing thyroid conditions effectively. Number 15. Cancer In rare cases, a persistent morning cough can be a symptom of lung cancer or cancer that has metastasized to the lungs. This cough may be dry or produce blood-tinged sputum. Other symptoms include chest pain, shortness of breath, unexplained weight loss, and fatigue. Treatment varies based on the type and stage of cancer and may include surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, targeted therapy, or a combination of these. Early detection and treatment are crucial for better outcomes. It's important for individuals with a persistent cough that doesn't improve or is accompanied by other concerning symptoms to seek medical evaluation. Quitting smoking and reducing exposure to environmental carcinogens are important preventative measures. While a morning cough is often dismissed as trivial, it's important to remember that it can be an indicator of various health conditions ranging from allergies to more severe respiratory diseases. The causes discussed in this video highlight the importance of not overlooking this symptom, and recognizing and addressing the root causes of morning cough is key to improving your overall health and well-being. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. Just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. And as always, breathe easy, my friend.